Hi everyone and welcome back to another VoiceFlow tutorial video. Today we are going to be learning about VoiceFlow's API integration block or step. Now if you're not familiar with APIs, you can think of them as ways to connect data sources together. So for an example, you may want to pull the weather data from a weather station API, or maybe you want to connect to a digital SMS API to send out or receive text messages. Now in the case of this project, we are going to be pulling a random dad joke for our users using a specific API. Now for those of you that are brand new to APIs, I recommend you check out some of the links I've put in the description below, which tackles what APIs are in plain and simple terms, and demonstrates how impactful they can be when used appropriately. Okay, let's dive into our project now. So here I am on the VoiceFlow canvas, and you can see I built out a really simple dad joke project. So when the user says, Alexa, open dad jokes, as right now we're building for Alexa, the assistant will say, here comes a dad joke. Now, the step below that is where we want to put our API call, which I'll demonstrate how to do using the API integrations block later in the video. From there, we're going to get data from the API, which we will store in our joke variable so that when this step is initiated, it's going to play the random joke that was fetched. At that point, we're going to ask the user if they want to play another joke. If they say yes, it will trigger this again intent at the top, where our skill will run through the same experience all over again with a new joke. Now if they say no, it will trigger the no intent, where the assistant will say, yeah, I didn't like that one either, and then it will end the skill. So let's go ahead and show you how this would work. First, I'm gonna go over to our steps menu and into the integration section to pull out our API block or step. I'm going to put this right here because we want to pull from the API and then store that into the joke. For this particular scenario, this is the correct place for this to go. Now you'll see in our editor modal here, we have a bunch of different sections. So we have the ability to do multiple different types of API calls, such as a get call, which is going to get data, we have the post call, which is going to push data or send data, and we have several other types of calls as well. As I mentioned earlier, if you're not familiar with APIs, definitely take a look at some of the links I've posted in the description of this video, where you can find helpful documentation on APIs and how they function. Now back to the editor modal, we have the endpoint URL here. This is the location of the API that we are hitting. Then next we have the settings of the API. So the headers and the params. We're only going to be doing a get call for this video as it demonstrates the fundamentals of how to use the VoiceFlow API integration. With that said, we're only going to be focused on the headers tab here. And so within that, we have the header assignments, we have the value of the header, and then we're going to need to figure out what we want to do once we get this data, which in this case is to store it into a variable. Now let's go ahead and start building our API call to show you what this looks like when it's filled out. So I've actually gone ahead and used Canvas Markup to link to the API documentation right on the canvas for easy access. And so when we look at this document, the first thing we're going to want to do is pull in our URL for the endpoint. An endpoint is a URL used to communicate with an API. And you can see right here, we have a URL for a GET request, and this is the endpoint that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and head back to our API step here and then paste that in the get request endpoint text field. So you can see from the dropdown, we have selected the proper request and now we want to get the headers. So I'm going to go back into our API documentation here and you can see that near the top, we have the accept header. So we can actually copy and paste this into the enter HTTP header text box. And next we want to do the header value. And so VoiceFlow only accepts JSON responses, so these other options here won't work, which is why it's important we make sure we copy the application slash JSON header value and then paste it in here. Now, before we actually do anything else, we can go ahead and test to see that our API is actually pulling the data. To do this, we can click on Test Request. And there we go. Request succeeded. So we have essentially the entire JSON string here. And you can collapse that, and you can see right there is our joke. I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. So what I can do now is I can copy this to the clipboard, which is going to copy the path, and that's going to solve how we get our assistant to say this particular line or this joke response. So as I mentioned, we're going to copy this line to my clipboard, 
And then in this text box, we're going to want to enter the object path. Again, this is coming straight from the data we copied to the clipboard. And so since this is the last step, we can go ahead and we can choose where we want to store this random value. And so I've already created a variable called joke. So let's plug that in. And so now since we filled in all the necessary fields, we can summarize what we're doing here. So what we're doing is we're placing a get request to this API endpoint with this accept header and the application JSON header value. And then from there, once we get the request, we're going to look in the response joke object path. And then we're going to store that value at this location into this particular variable. Now, it's important to remember that you can actually add multiple different header assignments and variable paths. However, in this case, we're only pulling one piece of data, which is the joke. But this is possible, so just be aware that this can absolutely be done. Okay, great. So since we have our API step all hooked up and ready to go, let's prototype this to see it in action. So I'll go over here to our prototype tab and hit start test. Here comes a dad joke. Who is the coolest doctor in the hospital? The hip doctor. Would you like another joke? Okay, awesome. So now that we know that it's working, we can say that we've successfully set up this random dad joke generator API. To summarize the API integration in VoiceFlow, it's important to remember that you can use this functionality to connect to external data sources, whether they're your own custom APIs or with third-party APIs, such as the dad joke generator we used in this project. You can find lots of available APIs all over the internet, from APIs that send text messages, emails, even hotel booking information. There are thousands and thousands of free APIs out there for you to discover which gives you lots of available functionality for you to use in your next voice project. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more information on tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you'll get notifications every time we put out a new video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.